Okay, hey Jim here. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a great weekend and that you're dry and not wet like we are. Uh, so earlier I, I posted a video to where I shot three arrows. I'm using the uh, 45 pound laminated recurve bow. It's, I'm going to say the name wrong. It's it's in my head, but I, I know I'm going to say it wrong. It is a uh, Koenig Kai uh, recurve bow. I'll put a link in the description below so that way you guys can get the bow, which comes with its own arrows. And of course, I'm going to put these in the uh, information as well, or the description as well. That way you guys uh, can pick up some of these arrows. These are really nice, really good arrows. They're cheap for 12 and uh, you get a good price for what they are. I mean, they're great for target practice. Believe that. Um, you can be accurate with them as if you really, really work with them and fast. So that was about eight, nine, 10 seconds for three arrows. And I'm not really going as fast as I know I can because I've been faster before with four and five arrows. So, I mean, the, the knocks are really wide. They don't really uh, grip the string like the uh, plastic knocks will. The, the uh, feathers or fletchings are great. Uh, they're really on there. Um, it's really solid construction. Much like the bamboo uh, arrows, uh, that one I split, and I, I have split one of these already. It just the arrow hit down here instead of up here. Although uh, the the plastic uh, polymer arrowheads I used to try and split one of these wouldn't split. It would just hit the knock and then veer off. So yeah, that's another thing. You'll note that one of the arrows is not in the group. The first arrow. Then the second arrow I shot uh, hit the back end and veered off a little bit. So, but I'm still within that little circle group right there with all three arrows. So, you know, fast as you can go, which is a moderate speed for me, uh, and you're about four yards away. So, combat range, combat archery range, if you will, is close quarters battle with a bow and then once you get too close you can use the bow as a weapon in martial archery if you want to and i'll be demonstrating that on an outside course in the springtime and you'll have to go to patreon to see the full video for that one but we haven't made it yet so don't go there unless you really want to but we still got some good information on my patreon okay so and it's just budget archery stuff to get you going where to go what to get and what's really good this is good I mean, solid and stiff and, and, and really good. I mean, 45 pounds, you can still, I don't have any finger protectors on here. And when I knock this, it's down and then slide it up. Okay. And loose. Do that as fast as you can go. You can't do that right now because the camera's in the way. So. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description below for this. Uh, it comes in two different weights, and you'll see the price for them. And the package is with six arrows, a little finger protector that you strap on the leather, leather, and an arm guard, which I don't need to use. I, I've developed a, uh, a method to where I don't hold the arrow, the bow like this, hold it like that. And so I'm not gonna get hit with an arm guard or, or with, <laughs> I'm not gonna need an arm guard because I'm not gonna get hit with a string anytime soon. So knocking point is where I have it on there and it's exactly where I want it. Runs along the, the side of the leather handle. I have a good memory to where to put my pinky underneath this right here and then my thumb holding the arrow as, a, as a, an arrow, arrow rest and then you peel away and do your little katra and you're fine. Now you can shoot on either side of the bow with this. This is not specifically for thumb or uh, right hand load methods. You can western style also, which I will demonstrate real quick. And still with a knocking point on there, you can still load to the left side of the bow and do your traditional three finger as you see right there if you want to 
the, the string really doesn't cut into you. So on a 40 or 45 pound, this is the 45. The other one will be a 40 pound, uh, and, and you should be fine without really using any finger protection once you get used to it, and you should be good to go. So all you got to do is practice. Practice every day. See, it says 45, 20. I know you probably can't read that, but there it is. That's where you know you don't have the bow upside down. Hey, I can read that. Holy shit. Okay. So, yeah. Sometimes you do that because these bows are not really, uh, they're reverse of each other. So, it's a little difficult when you're reaching down, you grab a bow, and you don't realize, because I've done it, you don't realize where the up and down is until you get out there and you start to shoot. Oh, oh wait a minute. That's wrong. Okay, so mistakes happen, especially if you're doing stuff on the fly. Just do as quick as you can without really paying attention because normally you set it down to where you grab it up and you, it's right. Sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. So, like I said, arrows, bow, target. That's all you need. And then you practice and you practice and you practice and eventually you uh, get really, really good. So, budget archery.